everyone, Charmaine here and welcome to another Journal With Me video. So this is my spread for this week. Oops, excuse my fingers, I actually have some ink on them. But anyway, yes, this is my regular spread. But I have a cute little addition here in the corner. I decided to note all the birthdays of the people I know in this little corner. So shout out to Alessandra of Ala Inspirations. Belated happy birthday to you. I'm thinking of doing this more often, so send me a DM if you want a little shout out here on my Journal With Me video. Anyway, going back to this spread, I'll tell you more about it. I honestly wanted to do a light layout for this week, but obviously it didn't turn out super light. I'll talk more about it in the rest of the video, but for now, I'd like to invite you to click subscribe, turn on notifications, and also maybe like this video. I actually upload new videos every Thursday for Journal With Me once and paper craft tutorials every Saturday. So that's basically it. Let's get started with the process of creating this spread. So as I've said, I always want to do those minimalist pages, but as you can see in my previous pages in the past, I tend to just fill up every space almost of the entire layout. So that has always been a struggle of mine, but instead I found a different word that I wanted to go for. Rather than going minimalist, I decided to go light. I know it's just a change in terminology, but I think that's something that is achievable for me at the moment. So let's use the word creating a light page. So since I wanted to do light, I thought of these earth tone swatches on my sticker book. If you're wondering where I got most of these stickers from, it is from Crafting Heart PH. They are actually on Instagram, just search Crafting Heart, but I think they only ship within the Philippines. So. But if you want international shipping, maybe you can try inloveartshop.com. Most of my stationery stuff, stickers, and paper sheets are from them anyway. You can use my special code S3671 if you want 15% off of your purchase. Anyway, after producing through my stash, I picked out a couple of details that I wanted to add on the spread. Looking at this spread bare, I wish I didn't fill it up with so much text as I did because right now, as I'm doing a voiceover for this video, I think that this would have been better left more minimalist. But then I'm not hating on my final outcome. I guess this is just me being aware of the fact that I could have stopped at some point if I wanted to really do minimalist, but my personal aesthetic makes me want to add more things and fill in the journal some more. But you know what, I'm not mad. I actually like this particular spread. I think the subtle and the lightness is there, but when you look at the spread, when I add the text, actually it was more text heavy this time. It wasn't really full of stickers or papers this time but more on text and i think that's something that i am looking forward to doing more of i did quite enjoy the experience of more writing than just piling and layering stuff on the pages and you will also notice that this video is shorter than my latest journal with me videos it is because yes, I successfully made a light composition, like figuring out the layout of the stickers, of the washi tapes, and the print-ons was super easy. It didn't take a long time, and there were only a few components to it. What actually took up most of my time was the writing, which was very refreshing. Anyway, what else do you want me to talk about? If you have any suggestions or questions, just drop them in the comment section below. I am going to tag them and maybe I can answer them in the next Journal With Me videos. Also, I just reached another milestone on Instagram. I 
woke up two days ago to 8,000 followers there. Um, anyway, if you're not yet a follower or a friend of me over there, I suggest you head on over because I also share exclusive videos on my IG stories on my Instagram and my handle is at Shassi. So that's S-H-A-C-E-E. -E. Others say it's Shacy, but actually I'd like to be called Shassi, given the fact that you pronounce my name as Charmaine, so it's like Sha. So that's Shassi. That's just, that just makes more sense to me. Anyway, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I did a poll on one of my stories. Um, what would you prefer to see? If you had to pick just one video per week, if you'd like journal with me videos or the papercraft tutorials on Saturdays. So to let you know, the winner of that poll was papercraft tutorial Saturdays. I actually asked for that poll because in the coming months, I think I will be busy with work. And I might have to cut down my art and creative time, which means... I won't have the leisure of time to create the videos that I do now. I mean, making videos like this one is super fun. But if I have to do it while having to do other things as well and I'm tired, it could get exhausting at some point. In the past couple of months when I started my papercraft tutorial series, I actually had the pleasure of having a home vacation because of the quarantine so no going out no commitments no nothing so just creating making art making videos but as things are opening up i've accepted a couple of projects to work on so that's something that i have to put time and attention towards but don't worry though i'll do everything that i can to so I continue to upload at least twice a week, one for journal with me videos and the other for paper craft tutorials. I hope to see more of you guys here for the future uploads because I've been consistently uploading since January and I think that it's only fit that I continue to do this until at least the end of this year so that I can say I did an entire year of not missing a single day of my regular uploads here on YouTube. But anyway, going back to this spread, I really love this vellum sticker sheet from Crafting Heart. It's so dainty and so cute, and it adds a nice dimension of layers. So anyway, as I'm wrapping up this spread, I'll be honest with you, I super like this spread and I hope you enjoyed this journal with me video. If you have any suggestions as to what theme I should do for next week's Journal With Me video or if there's a technique that you would want me to try or anything that you'd like to see here on my channel, just drop them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you and maybe accommodate all of your requests. Thank you so much for joining me through till the end of this video. I really appreciate your presence here on my channel and I hope to see you again next time. Stay safe, keep well, and enjoy the rest of your week.